Hi, this is Tanner from electronics123.com, and today we're going to talk about light emitting diodes or LEDs. There's a few things about LEDs that actually set them apart from other types of light bulbs, such as incandescent. Um, primarily, or one of the few, uh, is that they're polarized, which means they have a positive and a negative side. And usually uh, you can tell the difference by uh, the length of the leads. In most cases, uh, the longer lead is the positive or the anode, and the shorter lead is the negative, or the cathode. Another thing that sets them aside um, is they usually have a very specific voltage drop. And uh, this means that you really can't take an LED and put uh, 9 volts through it. If you actually try to run uh, an LED with a 9 volt, uh, it'll, it'll burn it up. Now let's say, for example, that I want to power a normal LED with a 9 volt. Um, how would I go about doing that? Well, uh, if, you, if you were to just connect the LED to the 9 volt, uh, it would destroy the LED almost instantaneously. Uh, but there is, there is a way to do it, uh, and it uses an electrical principle uh, called Ohm's Law. And Ohm's Law is uh, a formula that allows us to calculate the amount of resistance that's required in order to achieve a certain voltage. Uh, in this case, uh, most common LEDs um, are somewhere between 1.7 and 3 volts, 1.7 and 4 volts. So let's just use the starting, uh, for example, let's say we have a 1.7 um, volt LED. Uh, a, de a derivative of the um, Ohm's Law formula, or a formula we can produce that will uh, calculate that for us. Uh, we're using a 9 volt power supply. We're going to subtract from it the voltage that we actually want to use, which is 1.7. Uh, we're going to divide that by the number of amps. Now, this also varies and it helps to know specifically for your LED, but for this example we're going to use 0 0.005 amps. And this will allow us to calculate uh, the number of ohms required. In this case, it's 1,460 ohms. Now, there isn't exactly a resistor that's 1,460 ohms, but there is something that's close, so 1.5K, or 1,500 ohms. So, 1.5K ohms, and that's the symbol for ohms. By connecting our LED to our 9 volt using a 1.5K resistor, uh, we can actually power the LED safely uh, on the 9 volt because the resistor uh, at the current draw of the LED is going to reduce the voltage to approximately 1.7 volts. Okay, so we've established that we can use a 1.5K ohm resistor uh, in order to power our LED using a 9 volt battery, but one other thing we have to keep in mind is what watt rating we use for our resistor. Um, and we can calculate that using another uh, component of Ohm's law. And we simply take the original 9 volts, we subtract the 1.7 volts, and we multiply that times the original number of amps being used, which is 0 0.005. And we get about 0 0.036 watts. Now, 0 0.036 is less than a quarter, and a quarter watt is generally the smallest uh, resistor that you're going to use, so there are, there are some smaller values, but this essentially tells us we can get away with using a 1 fourth watt resistor. Okay, so now that we've established exactly what we need and we've gathered our parts, we can design a circuit uh, that allows these things to be connected together and powers our LED. Uh, the biggest thing to keep in mind is that we can't actually uh, wire this uh, in parallel. It has to be wired in series, or at least the resistor has to be wired in series with the LED. Uh, so it, it's relatively simple. Um, we have our 9 volt battery, we have our 1.5K quarter watt resistor, and I'm going to take the positive side of the 9 volt battery and connect it into our resistor, and then the other end of the resistor into the positive side anode of our LED. And then the negative side will just connect straight through to the battery. And that's pretty much it. 
it's a relatively simple circuit. Uh, now, things like this would change. You would have different resistance values if you had multiple LEDs hooked up in series, uh, which you can do. Um, but what you'll need to do if you want to do that is recalculate Ohm's law uh, and figure the current draw, change the bottom number on the equation, the current draw for multiple LEDs. And this is what the finished working example looks like.